Hey guys, Jared here, Magnetic Men's Club. Hope everyone's doing well. The title of this video, really, Male Feminism and the Nice Guy Syndrome. They're basically one and the same. Here's my opinion on feminism. Every strong, capable man who's on his path and purpose, who is leveling himself up, who has some success in his life. Of course, we all have some failures, but we have some success. But really at the core, most good men are feminists. Now, if you mean feminism is advocating for equal rights, equal opportunities, and equal representation for women. Now, I didn't say just because you're a woman, by default, you should do the exact same things men can do. The simple fact is men do, do some things better than women and women do some things better than men. But at its core, feminism is just advocating for equal opportunities, equal rights, and equal representation. Then yes, most good men are feminists. We just don't bird call it because there's no point to bird call it. No man should get a special badge or get special attaboys for vocalizing this. It doesn't make sense to actually do this. What makes more sense is to stand up for women's rights. If, if a guy sees a situation where a woman uh, maybe is in danger, there's an idea that she's being oppressed somehow, is to actually stand up for her and stand beside her and help her fight it. Not fight her battles. That's the key. Male feminists feel like it's their duty, obligation, their right to fight battles in the hopes that they get laid. They don't really give a shit about the struggles that women go through. They're using that and they're using that emotion to try to get laid. Now it's very sick, it's very sad, but in reality, that's exactly what's happening. And this is what typical nice guys do as well. Niceness is self-serving, kindness, is genuine. So the typical nice guy, their approach is, hey, I'm nice. I'm one of the good ones. I'm not like these chauvinistic males. Now, can I please sleep with you? That's basically the sexual strategy for nice guys. The same type of sexual strategy for male feminists is, hey, I'm a feminist. I'm one of the good ones. I'm on your side. I hate men too. I'm advocating for your rights. As a matter of fact, you should have more rights than us because we've oppressed you for so long. Now, can I sleep with you? Do you see it's basically the same thing? They're yes men. They're going to say anything that they have to say, do anything that they have to do, virtue signal any way they have to, just to get in your pants. Typically, most of the time, male feminists act like these white knights and they come in and they try to save the day when really no woman has even asked them to do this. They're taking it upon themselves to carry this burden and to show these women how amazing they are when really what happens is the fight between women's opportunities, women's rights, women's representation, then gets taken on by these male feminists. And it's never a fight between the women and the men. It's usually now becomes a fight between the male feminists and other men. Look at most of the conversations that are out there. Google it, go on you know, different news sites. Most of the male feminists are fighting with other men. They're not fighting with women. So what's happening is these male feminists are jumping in front of these women who don't, who never asked for it. And they're usually the most loud. They're usually the most annoying people in the room and they're name calling, they're putting other men down, they're basically feeling like they're more superior just because they threw the, the self-inflicted badge of male feminists on them. When the problem is some of these men who are just questioning 
the current narratives of feminists, the current narratives of the new social dynamic. They're just questioning it. They're not belittling it, they're questioning it. And in a way to shut down that conversation, these male feminists come in and they do name calling, they do the need to be right, they basically put you down to try to shut down the conversation. It's much like how the Democrats do it when normal, common sense people are just asking, why is the current narrative this way? Oh, well, that's because you're a misogynist, that's why. They just shoot you down and can't have an actual conversation. Most female feminists will have a conversation with the male if he's asking a question, if he's very inquisitive. He's just like, I just don't understand what, what is the actual problem. The problem becomes these other males jump in and then they try to save the day. So this white knight syndrome is actually one of the worst things that's happening to this movement when some of the some of the problems with this movement is men inserting themselves into a fight that isn't their fight. We are the patriarch. I'll admit it, men are the patriarch. However, in another video, and in some videos, I've explained why that is, and why even though women don't like it, it works. And the other way around, if women became the patriarch, if women became this, which is the United States is turning into this, and you start seeing dysfunction. I often say to women, what makes more sense? If you wanna just use the patriarch, what makes more sense? A 220 pound, six foot one man who knows how to fight being your bodyguard or you, 120 pounds at 5'7", being my bodyguard. Which one makes more sense? The guy who's 6'1", 220 pounds protecting her. I'm her bodyguard. That makes more sense. So the idea of this patriarchy, although women don't like it and some of these male feminists are only using it for a sexual strategy, it does work. Does it have flaws? Yes, but it works more often than not. A lot of time these male feminists, they're only doing it for the hashtags. They're only doing it to be part of this group, to get something out of it. They're almost like parasites. They're going into these groups to kind of get what they can out of it, feed off of it. But in reality, when shit actually goes down and they actually see a woman who may need their help, they're nowhere to be found. When a new movement comes around, a new hashtag, they'll jump from that, the feminist, to another hashtag just to be part of that group, just to be more of like a parasite. They're, they bounce. They, they have no core values. They have nothing tying them to anything, just what feels good at the moment. Now, these men are very good at calling out other men. We've talked about before when another man just has a question about a movement or a question about it, they use insults, shame, the need to be right, and guilt. Oh, you're just a misogynist. You could never understand the plight of women like I do because I have a minor in gender studies. I just, I, I always found it very, under, very odd to me why a man would want to take on this burden when they're actually part of the patriarch. The patriarch still goes on. The patriarch doesn't say, oh, well, Jim's gone, so we're the patriarch minus one. It doesn't work that way. We're still the majority. We're still the, the men who have built this world, who have basically, who still maintain this world to a degree. And for some reason, these men decide to jump ship thinking that they'll do better with women if they go and they be on their side, if they fight the fight with them. And it doesn't work that way. So this is just a short video on why the, the male feminist is the most, is very dangerous person. Anybody who virtue signals, anybody who says they're better at you than in something generally isn't. Anybody who always says, I'm really good at this, I'm really good at that, or I'm definitely part of this team, there's always a hidden agenda. Because if you are part of this team, like me, I am 
for the most part, a feminist in the sense that I do agree women should have the same opportunities, the same rights as us, the same representation of us. But I don't need to bird call it. I don't need to go out and jump on my soapbox and yell it out. When I have to yell it out and say it, it means I'm trying to get attention on myself to be the pick me guy, have sex with me guy, I fight your fight with you. And it comes off very pathetic, comes off needy. It does work. I will admit it does work, it can work because a lot of these women in these movements, we do generally are attracted to people or get along with people who fight the same fights we do. But you have to remember these guys are not truly fighting this fight. They're saying they are just to get in the pants. I've had girls and, and even girls that I've coached, they at least know who I am. They might call me a misogynist, they might call me a little bit old school, but at least day one they know who I am. I'm not gonna lie to them and say, oh yeah, yeah, I agree that we should all be 100% equal because I don't agree that, we're not. I don't sit there and pretend to these women that, yes, you guys can do everything we can do and better. Bullshit, it's not true. I can't do stuff women can do and I certainly can't do it better because I can't do it. So there are differences in society. There are differences in men and women and those differences should be celebrated, not looked down upon or try to one up somebody else and say, oh, well, I don't agree. Men are more physically stronger than women. We are. We definitely are. Look at the sports right now. You don't see women dressing up as men going into football. They'll get freaking crushed. But you see men dressing up as women and dominating women's sports. We're just stronger. We're just faster. We're just more imposing than women. We have more free testosterone. This isn't hard to understand. So the idea that women, these, these new modern day feminists can just snap their fingers, say, oh no, we're all equal, is just not true. But the male feminists will buy into that lie. They'll buy into that just to try to get laid. I'm like, oh no, you're, you're definitely stronger than me. I can see it. There's no way that I could beat you up. There's no way that I can run faster than you. The point I'm trying to get across is be careful of what people say, watch what they actually do. My name is Jared Schoomaker. If you found this video helpful, hit like, please hit subscribe. There's a lot of people that watch this that are not subscribed. Hit the bell icon so you know when new videos are dropped. And in the description, there's a brand new, totally free community. I love you guys to join, both men and women. There's tons of free content in there. There's videos that you can watch. There's sprint courses in there that you guys can join in. And if you're looking for more support with inside of that app, you can reach out to us and then we can take it to that next step. But this app, this community is free. I'm trying to make it a little bit more private so we can have more in-depth conversations about certain topics that affect men, men's mental health, men's emotional health. With that, my name is Jared Schoomaker and we're gonna talk soon, thanks, bye.